the third video lessons of system of linear equations. Um, today we continue the discussions on elementary row operations and uh, matrix algebra. So in the previous lessons we have discussed, uh, we introduced the row operations, three row operations, uh, multiplying a row by a non-zero constant, uh, adding a multiple of a row uh, into another row and interchanging the two rows. So here uh, we are going to discuss how to apply the row operation in order to solve a given linear system. Suppose we have this linear system x minus 2y plus 3 is equal to 9, minus x plus 3y is equal to minus 4, 2x minus 5y plus 5 is equal to 7. The starting point is write down the corresponding augmented matrix if it has the form, if the linear system has the form A equal B, where A is the coefficient matrix, x is the variable vector and b is the right hand side vector. Then uh, write down the corresponding augmented matrix A, B. So therefore, here we have the corresponding associated uh, uh, augmented matrix. First equation, x minus 2y plus 3 is equal to 9. We get the first row. Uh, left hand side, the coefficients 1, minus 2 and 3. The right hand side, we have uh, constant 9. For the second row, we have uh, minus 1, 3, 0 because we, are, we don't have any, any z terms in the equation and uh, right hand side minus 4. And for the uh, third equation, we have 2, minus 5 and 5 as the coefficients and right hand side we have 17. So therefore, this is the corresponding uh, augmented matrix. So here what we are going to do we want to make this augmented matrix left hand side into upper triangular equation. So that means uh, in the main diagonal we have sort of non-zero entries and all the entries below main diagonal should be zero. So we apply the our um, elementary row operation so that, so that we can get the upper triangular matrix. So here below one we have to have zero. So to make this entry into 0, you can add 1 into minus 1. So that means you multiply the first row by 1 and add into the second row. So then there you will get the new second row. And to make this entry into 0, you can multiply this 1 by minus 2 and add into uh, third row. So therefore, minus 2 R1 plus R3 is new R3, new R3. That's how we apply the uh, corresponding row operations. So now we can write it very formally. We apply uh, row operations um, separately. For the second row to make this one into zero, you multiply the first row by one and add into the second row. So we write it R2 plus R1 is R2. You multiply the first row by 1. You don't have to write 1 here and uh, add into R2. Now what we are doing, since we are not multiplying uh, R1 by any number, just add the 1 into minus 1 to make it 0. 3 uh, minus 2 into 3. So then you get 1. And 3 plus 0 is C, uh, 3. 9 minus 4 is uh, 9 plus minus 4 is 5. So that's how we obtain the corresponding yeah. 1 minus 1 is 0, uh, minus 2 plus 3 is 1, 3 plus 0 is 3, 9 plus minus 4 is 5. Since we do not change the second row, uh, third row, third row remain as it is. Now we want to make this entry is also 0. So therefore you can multiply the first row by minus 2 and add into the uh, third row. You can write it corresponding in uh, operations. Multiply the first row by minus 2 and add into the third row. So then minus 1 into 1 is minus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. Here you get 0. Minus 2 into uh, minus 2 is plus 4. Plus 4 minus 4 is minus 1. 
3 into minus 6, minus 2 is minus 6, minus 6 plus 5 is minus 1. 9 into minus 2 is minus 18, minus 18 plus 17 is minus 1. So now you get this matrix. Now we start with this matrix. Again, now we have completed the first column. Below this one, all entries are 0. Now we move to the second column. Here we keep 1 and below this one, we have to make all the entries into 0. So therefore, we can multiply the second row by uh, 1 and add into the third row. So you multiply the second row by 1 and add into the third row to make new third row. So 1 plus minus 1 is 0. 3 plus minus 1 is 2. 5 plus minus 1 is 4. So therefore, now this is the matrix you obtain after changing the third row. Now you can make this entry into 1 so that you can multiply uh, third row by half. Then you can, uh, that means divided by 2, you get 1 here. So third row is multiplied by half to get new third row. So then first and second row does not change. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. Uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then we have upper triangular form to the left hand side of, of the augmented matrix. So therefore we can stop our elementary applying the row operations. Now you can write down the corresponding equivalent system. First equation the coefficients are x1, minus 2 and 3. So therefore left hand side we have x minus 2y plus 3z and the right hand side we have 9 here. So therefore in the left hand side of the equation we have 9. For the second row we do not have x terms, the coefficient is 0. So 1 and 3 are the coefficients. So y plus 3 is equal 5 is the second equation. Third equation we do not have uh, x and y term because the entries are 0. So then we have z is equal to 5. From these equations we can obtain easily the values of x, uh, z, y, x1, y, z. From the third equation, start with the third equation, substitute the value y, uh, z into the equation to y is equal to 5 minus 3z. Having so z value is there too and having y and z you can get the from the first equation 2y minus 3z plus 9. So since y and z are known you can easily obtain the value of x. So Mm, applying this process, you can obtain the value of x, y, z. Since we are starting with the third equation and then from move to the second and move to the first equation from bottom to top. So therefore, this kind of substitution we call backward substitution. Applying the backward substitution, you can obtain the value of from the third equation, z is equal to 2. From the second equation, y is equal to minus 3z, 5 minus 3z z is equal to 2, you get y is equal to, z y is equal to minus 1, y is equal to minus 1 here and from the first equation x is equal to 9 plus 2y plus minus 3z, substitute y and z to get x equal 1. So now you may have some get idea how to apply the row operations in order to solve a linear system. Starting with the augmented matrix, apply the linear system so that you get uh, uh, you start, uh, you change the, your original augmented matrix AB. A is converted into upper triangular form and apply the same operations to change B and write down the equivalent system and using the backward substitution, you can find the solution of the linear system. So here one more equations. Um, you can apply, the, in the previous example, we have applied the uh, row operation separately for each row, but in general, you can apply the row operation simultaneously for different row, not for the same row. For different rows, you can apply the uh, row operation separate, uh, simultaneously. For example, for this linear system, corresponding uh, 
augmented matrix associated mode uh, augmented matrix 1 minus 6 minus 4 coefficient for the first equation 2 minus 10 minus 9 coefficient for the second equation and minus 1 6 5 for the coefficient for the third equation and the right hand side we have the constant minus 4 minus minus 5 minus 4 and 3 now as i told i want to make this one into 0 and this one into 0 so we can do it simultaneously because we are applying the row operation for the second row and third row separately to make this entry into 0 you can multiply the first row by minus 2 and add into a uh, uh, second row so minus 2 r1 minus 2 r1 plus r2 is our new r2 and the same things you can do for the third row to make this one into zero you can multiply the first row by one and add into the third row so r1 multiplied by one and add into the third row so this will be your third row so you can write down these things formally like here then you get the resulting matrix so 1 multiplied by minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 is 0 minus 6 multiplied by minus 2 12 12 plus minus 10 is 2 minus 4 into minus 2 8 8 plus minus 9 is minus 1 minus 5 into minus 2 10 10 plus minus 4 is 6 so that is the second row for the third row you multiply entries by 1 and add into the corresponding entries 1 plus minus 1 is 0 minus 6 plus 6 is 0 minus 4 uh, plus 5 is 1 minus 5 plus 3 is 2 minus 2 so now it is a upper triangular form so here you have upper triangular form then you can write down the corresponding equivalent system first e for the first equation you have 1 minus 6 minus 4 and minus 5 in the right hand side so therefore x minus 6 y minus 4 is a d is equal to minus 5 from the second equation you get this uh, second row from uh, from the second row you get the second equation 2y minus z is equal to 6 and from the third equation you get z is equal to minus 2 again you can use the backward substitution from here you get z is equal to 2 and y is equal to half of 6 plus z then you can get y x is equal to 6y plus 4z minus 5 so 3 plus z is equal to minus 2 then you get 6 minus 2 is 4 4 divided by 2 is 2 y is 2 substitute x then you can easily get the value of x y is equal to 2 12 uh, 6 into 2 is 12, 12 plus 4 into z is 2 minus 2, it is minus 8, 12 minus 8 is 4, 4 plus minus 5 is minus 1. So that's how you obtain the solution of x, y and z. So what you have to notice, you don't, you can apply the row operations uh, to obtain the solution of the linear system. First of all, we have to assemble this into augmented matrix, apply the row operation so that you can convert the left hand side into upper triangular matrix. We don't have to apply the your row operation uh, separately. You can apply the row operation simultaneously so that then you can save your time and workload. So then you can apply the, you can get the solution. So, in this lessons, what we have discussed how to apply the row operation to obtain the solution. Uh, all the example we have discussed uh, in this case, uh, they have uh, unique values, unique answers, unique solution. But there might be some linear system which does not have a solution or solution is uh, not unique. 